everyone, I'm Kelsey from Wearable Whisperer, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a Fitbit account on an iPhone. If you have an Android, check out the link in my description below for an Android specific video. So starting from your main apps page, you'll swipe to the left, then tap on search and type in app. And the app store icon should show up. Go ahead and tap on that. Now again, in this little search bar, tap here and type Fitbit. And then go ahead and tap on that first result. And here we have the Fitbit app. Now I've downloaded this before, so there's a little cloud icon. Yours might say install or probably get actually. So whatever is in this area, go ahead and tap on it. And now you'll see this little icon here that is showing that it's in the progress of downloading the app to your phone. And once it finishes, there we go, you'll tap on open. So this is saying that Fitbit would like to use Bluetooth. The Fitbit app needs to sync with your device to store your steps, sleep, or weight. You definitely need to allow this, otherwise you won't be able to connect your tracker. So go ahead and tap OK. And here, if you already have a Fitbit account, you would type, you would tap login, but we are assuming you don't. So go ahead and tap join Fitbit. So here it's asking to enter your account details. It's asking for a first name, last name, email, password, and then agreeing to Fitbit's terms of service. You can also read their privacy poly policy and cookie use statement. And you can decide to keep on their newsletter to be updated about Fitbit products, news, and promotions, or you can opt out of that. So go ahead and enter your account details. All right, so once you've entered your account details, go ahead and tap next. And here they're talking about your privacy. So go ahead and read through this. And if you agree, go ahead and tap I agree. Now it says to get an accurate picture of your activity, please tell us a few things about yourself. Go ahead and tap let's go. So they're asking for your birthday. So you can actually slide these to the left or right to get to your birth month, day, and year. I'm not going to actually enter my birthday for privacy reasons, but go ahead and enter your birthday and tap next. Here you can slide up or down to enter your height. Again, this is not my real height, but once you select yours, go ahead and tap next. Here you'll enter your gender, either male or female. Make your selection and tap next. And here you can enter your weight. Again, Fitbit just uses this data to figure things out like your estimated calorie burn, your estimated stride length, things like that. So go ahead and tap create an account once you have selected your weight. Now it's saying that Fitbit would like to send you notifications. Notifications may include alerts, sounds, and icon badges. These can be figured in settings. So you can either choose to allow or not allow this. I'm going to go ahead and say don't allow for the moment. And here it's asking what are you setting up? So if you're ready to set up your device, you can go ahead and tap one of these devices. You can scroll down if you don't see your device at the top. The other thing you can do is just use their ability to track steps with your phone. So you could just tap on just the app. So let's go ahead and just tap on just the app for now. So saying Fitbit would like to access your motion and fitness activity. Fitbit uses your motion and fitness activity to track steps. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK. Your iPhone can start tracking the basics with mobile track. Let's go ahead and set up. So now it's talking about terms and policies. So it's talking about specific to mobile track. 
So you can go ahead and read that, and if you agree, tap I agree. Here it's letting you start a free premium trial. If you are not interested, because you would have to enter a credit card, you can go ahead and just tap this X in the top left corner. So here it has the Fitbit account set up for you. Just to get a little lay of the land, you can scroll up and down here. You can tap on edit to change which statistics or data you want to see or hide. You can also tap on this little icon in the upper left hand corner. This is the account icon. Right now you don't have a profile picture, so nothing shows up here except for the David default profile picture. So go ahead and tap on that. And here is where you can view your profile. You can set up a device and here are some extra settings. And I'll have a video maybe in the future talking more about the Fitbit app and what you can do with it. But for now, that is how you create a Fitbit account on an iPhone. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up as it really helps this video and my channel. And for more Fitbit and other wearable content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.